companies, you know, typically don't really appreciate DNS and DHCP until there's a problem. And that's because it's not supposed to give you any problems. It's supposed to be in the background that you never notice it. And hopefully, you know, as you build these systems, you build a system that's rock solid and doesn't have any issues. But the minute it has an issue, the whole company has an issue. And that data center is no longer there and accessible. Your company workers aren't able to get where they need to get. And, you know, it's just one of the most important protocols that anybody could use. Depending on where you have your issue, right? We've got your information backed up for you. So that's that's one thing. The second is, if we were to have a problem as a company, our product, your services are still running and you're still being successful and delivering what you need for the customers. And I think that's something that a lot of people miss. And other companies think about different ways of selling you HA and failover, but you know, if the services doesn't have to fail over, all the better. Everything you do as an organization, you're paying employees a lot of money every year to produce whatever you need. And let's say they're technical workers. If the technical workers can't get where they need to get, you're losing money. And you talk about you know the ability to either make money or save money. DNS and DHCP are two of the most core features to be able to have a business and make sure that it runs successfully.